This short video will be to demonstrate how to create a new empty feature class. In this case, I'll be creating a point feature class, but for creating polygon feature classes, this process is the same. You just cho choose polygon. Go to Arc Toolbox, Data Management Tools, Feature Class, and Create Feature Class. You get this large dialog box. The location is going to be our smelter plume data set. I'm going to add. In this case the feature class name I'm going to call it sample data merged. In fact I'm going to take out this extra dash. Sample data merged and again sample Data in this instance means that the soil sample data. Here it defaults to polygon. I'm going to change it to a point. From the temp template feature class optional, I'm going to choose sample 1. Notice that template feature class over here, the feature class uses a template to define the attribute schema of the feature class. In addition, we should also, at this point, use tool help to read about tool help. I have provided create feature class data management to you in the module. You could also read it here as well. As usual, there's usually no real need to go into the syntax because we're at this point we have not started using Python for programming. At this point, I'm just going to close the ArcGIS 10 help and click OK. It runs. Took a whole second to create that. And now if I look at it, I open the attribute table, there is nothing listed. This begs the question, why are there no entries in the sample data merged attribute table? This is part of your lab write-up. What was the purpose of using sample one during the create feature class operation? These two questions I've already answered, but of course there's nothing in the table because it's an empty feature class. And what was the purpose of using sample? As we can see here, all of the fields that were in the sample one data set are now listed. We don't have to create them individually one by one as we merge or append this feature class with the other data. We'll now move on to actually append this feature class with some data from sample 1 and sample 2. To begin the append, we'll need to go to Arc Toolbox, General, and Append. And in this dialog box, we're going to select sample 1 and sample 2. The target data set is the feature class that we just created. And we're going to select no test from the schema type drop down. Notice as I click on this, some information pops up because I have the help showing. Be sure to read that as well. As I click in the target data set, it tells you the input data set mass, much mass the data type, and that's why we created the, the template. And then, of course, the input, the input data sets, etc. The tool help for this one is very important detailed especially with a picture that makes it very easy much easier to understand this is showing lines but there is a obviously it creates points as well there is an append data management file in the module for you to read I'm going to close the arc help going back to this no test option by choosing no test, the input data for data set schema field definitions do not have to match that of the target data set. And again, you can read this, but to put it in a short 
way, you permit the process to run regardless of whether or not the attribute tables of sample 1, sample 2, and sample data merged are exactly alike. That is all we need to do in here. I'll press OK. It runs very quickly and elapsed time of one second. I'll close. I'm going to now open the data to double check to see that everything was added to the new class. It looks like the result quantity additional comment is null for some and let me sort descending and sort ascending for some reason they are just null. It is important that you take a look at what fields you have, what data you have in those fields. I encourage you to go right now to sample 1 and open it and also sample 2 to open that and then compare them to make sure that the data is equal. I'm going to arrange by a vertical tab group and I have sample 1, sample 2. Over here I have sample data merged. I can slide. You can pause the video as you check to make sure your data is the same as mine. Or the data is the same, I should say, in your sample data merged as it is in sample 1 and sample 2. I'm going to pause while I check and close this attribute table. Now that you've confirmed that your data in sample data merge is the same as what was in sample 1 and sample 2, we can move on. And that's how we create a feature class and append data to it.